Welcome folks! Take a seat at this beautiful flower field and let's see what awesome mods last week gave us. It is week 5 of best new mods for Skyrim and Skyrim Special Edition. Let's go! Flower fields. Are you bored from harsh and cold Skyrim landscapes? Add some beauty! This mod adds flower fields to various areas of Skyrim. In addition to just an amazing and stunning look, this mod is completely standalone and could be used with any other grass or landscape mod. Flower Fields goes especially great together with spring summer landscape overhauls like Season of Skyrim Spring, Skyrim Flora Overhaul Summer Edition or Green Skyrim Summer Textures. I will also link these mods in the description. Missed some badass armors? We have some. Meet Gothic plate armor, a medieval style full plate armor. It can be crafted with the advanced armor spark or similar perk with overhauls. Or set can be stolen from the castle door barracks in solitude. Includes both armored and severed helmets with plumed options for both. Just look how solid, how much detailed it is. Are you still thinking? Red Mountain Raider Armor. This one is the first work of beginner modder, so show him some love with your endorsements, because it is absolutely awesome. Low friendly light armor with stylish looking goggles. One more advantage of it is that it is compatible with any retexture mod, as it uses only vanilla assets from Ebony Armor, Warlock Robes, the Chitin Light and Heavy Armor. Hmm, I'm tired of ugly, low-resolution vanilla rabbits. Do you want them to be more cute, fluffy, as they should be? Think no more, install Rabbits of Skyrim Legendary Edition and enjoy 3 new rabbit models with 9 texture for each model, so 27 different rabbit types in total. Skyrim is huge and there is never enough good textures. Another white run mod. Despite pretty regular name, this mod is like, whoa, yes, there are already a lot of well-known and great town overhaul mods that cover white run, but this is amazingly detailed, fresh and really unique. Features list looks really serious. 30 new residences, skooma dealer quest, gates improvements, everyone gets a yard or a garden or something relevant to their interests. Dragon's Reach grounds made more interesting. Hall of the Dead finally has symmetry. Outdoor dining area added for the Bennett Mayor. Secret entrance to the city, too many dungeons like areas, more domestic animals and a lot of different details here and there in overall. And now it is time for special edition, get ready! Have you finished each of Skyrim main quests? 
want to try something new, go through challenges of amazing endgame content, then meet the final cataclysm, middle-sized quest mod that will take you far beyond Tamriel. Dive deep into amazing fantasy world to solve its mysteries and decide the fate of universe. From the first steps in it, you will be amazed with really unique and beautiful level design of each cell, some interesting puzzles, as well as enemies. Monsters and bosses here are looking unique, fighting smart and striking hard with a lot of custom abilities. It will be definitely a challenging journey, a lot of new custom stuff added, new weapons, armors, books, spells and much more. I don't want to spoil it too much. You can also bring your follower with you, but for the best narration I strongly recommend to play this amazing mod solo. One more awesome addition is the custom music. It sounds pretty much similar to JRPG soundtrack sometimes and fits the mod greatly. I hardly enjoy it play this mod and I will definitely replay it again and I strongly recommend you guys to get it too. Dual wield blocking and attack cancelling. This mod is lightweight and simple as that. Many Skyrim players were not satisfied of lacking ability to block while dual wielding and also would be great to cancel your attack if needed. This mod gives you boss. It allows you to cancel regular melee swings using the she weapon key and also allows you to block with the R key if you are not attacking or sneaking. While being small, this combat improvement makes battles much more interesting. Just take a look on a little gameplay demonstration I made. Illuminated Atronax. Are you tired of casting candlelight each 30 seconds in dark dungeons or at night and your character is able to use Atronax summoning spells? Then this mod is for you. It adds visual lighting effects to the Fire and Storm Atronax. Fire Atronax now has fire aura with light, big flames if its health is higher than 50% and normal flames otherwise. Storm Atronax has lighting aura with light. It is small but really helpful and immersive addition to your servants that will make your exploration in dark cells more comfortable. Northern Realistic Clouds Amazing Clouds Protection Mod that is based and inspired by real cloud shots in northern Scandinavian regions. Clouds are from 2 up to 4K resolution, really greatly detailed and variety. A great advantage that it is compatible with any other weather mod. I personally advise to try it with Dolomite weathers for the best results, but of course the choice is up to you. Here are some shots that talking for themselves. Fast travel ambushes and consequences. Ever thought that travels can be absolutely safe each time? Wanted travels to be more realistic, challenging and fun? Then install this mod from Saints of Time team. Low friendly and fun mod that adds a chance of being ambushed by bandits, bear beasts, vampires, ghosts and other monsters when fast traveling. Also, night encounters usually are more dangerous than during the day. If you are ambushed, you are not reaching your destination point but you are appearing somewhere in the middle of a way, which is pretty logical as ambush can happen anytime and this will obviously interrupt your travel. After you deal with encounter, you can continue. There are some additional optional features, like penalties for running out of food, or much carrying food and possible diseases, but this, as well as encounter odds, can be configured via mod book in your inventory. A 
lot of people, as well as myself, have waited for this amazing player home to be ported to Special Edition, and this day has finally come. Riverside Lodge is now available. If you are aware of this player home masterpiece, just go to Special Edition Nexus and grab it. If no, well, you know what to do. It is middle-sized, beautiful, low-friendly, and absolutely picturesque and fully equipped player home between Riverwood and Whiterun. You can find absolutely everything you need there, all crafting stations, dozens of weapon racks and mannequins, beds and other stuff, as well as even outdoors bath house and little summer house. It is absolutely great and detailed and absolutely worth it to install and be one of your favorite player homes ever. And as a little bonus at the end, I just must mention one more immersive weapon mod that was ported to Special Edition. Meet Law Weapon Expansion. It adds dozens of absolutely law friendly weapons to Skyrim that are seamlessly distributed via leveled lists and merchants. If you like to have really immersive addition to your weapon assortment, install it for sure. That's all for now, people. Grab the new mods you like, enjoy them and support the channel by your subscribe and comments if you enjoy this video. Also, be sure to enable channel notifications to not miss the new episodes. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and see you next week. Sintar out.